Thế khi mà tôi nói cái gì thì tôi mong tất cả các anh chị em các bạn Take a time. Be still. Be still. Thì ảnh nó viết nó nói giờ cho thì nói chuyện về cái 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 spirit của chủ tịch Chu Văn An. Thật sự ra như này tôi tôi từ ngày hôm qua tới giờ suy nghĩ tôi muốn nói về cái chuyện gì. Cái chuyện mà tôi muốn chia sẻ tất cả các bạn là cái trong cái trái tim trong kinh thánh có cái lời này là cái cái lời của mình đó. và cái sự của cái phật của trái tim của mình em cái tình cái mau dùng mau thì sự phát triển và cái tình yêu thương chưa nay nói chuyện là cháu của cường nó muốn nói chuyện về nghề trong tương lai muốn đi học thì đại học học ngành gì chia sẻ với nó là tôi mới nói là con cái chuyện chính khi mà con muốn được uh, có cái ảnh tốt của những con người khác trong cái đời sống của con con phải sửa soạn nhằm vào bảo vệ cái trái tim của mình chuyện thứ hai là một sách cho con đấy quá kia mong cho nó thì cái sự phát triển và cái tình yêu sinh Okay. I mean, thì nghĩ về trong 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 cái spirit của trường chú Văn An Cái thật tình như này là hồi khi mà mình còn trẻ thì mình hiểu và trong cái tương lai của mình Cái khả năng của mình Cái sự suy nghĩ của bản chất của mình nó không giống như bây giờ Thế thì em tưởng hóa Bây giờ có gia đình có con cái, con cái nó lớn Có một số anh chị em ở đây rồi có cháu cái sự suy nghĩ của mình về cái 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 cái, 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 cái spirit của trong cái đời sống của mình nó nó thay đổi nhiều khi còn trẻ thì muốn có khả năng mà được cả successful thì muốn được cái sự sống của mình and uh, you want to be known for your success that is actually true because I in my line of work I met many successful men, professionals, who die alone. And the last event is about four weeks ago. I had to go to the hospital to wait for somebody to die. And the man who was dying here, ông là người luật sư, rất là nổi tiếng trong cái thành phố của tôi. Nhưng mà trong cái đời sống cá nhân của ông thì là không có tốt. Con cái nó không có muốn. Nếu bỏ khi ông trong làm nhà thương mà đang để mặt chết Nó không tới được con He's very successful boy And he's a very good boy Yeah, is he really successful? What about I want to share with you today I, I, I like to appeal to you that it had to come from my own reflection as a minister of the church. So you had to bear with me on that. But I will not make a apology, apology for my faith. You have to understand that. Trong lời dẫn Kinh Thánh, cái 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 gọi là là Galatian chapter 4. Nam có lời thì như này nè. What is the spirit? The spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, minus, self-control. Okay? Thank you, God. Cái spirit là cái tình thương yêu của mình. Không phải trong gia đình, mà trong cả cái người trong cái khả năng mình có thể gặp được cái đường. Các anh chị em hiểu là trong khi mình đi làm, à, có những người mình có thể có liên lạc được trong cái thành phố, trong cái 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 cái, cái, cái chỗ của mình nào, mình có thể gặp những người đó. Khi mà điểm nói về cái cái spirit của trường Trung Văn An, tôi muốn các anh chị em thay đổi cái, cái spirit là trong cái tình thương mình. 
cho gia đình cho bà con cho những người trong cái chỗ ở tôi đi làm có thể sống lâu rồi Many years ago, I left the traditional role of the church. I went to another minister that I have a church. Church. I had to decide I go to the marketplace, and I treat the marketplace as my church because I believe that I need to go out of the church for me to remain faithful to my calling as a minister. I had to walk away from the convenience and the comfort. Of my role in the church, to be a more man and woman who actually suffer and who actually have to deal with life questions, life suffering. I shared with somebody yesterday. Sometimes life and death, when we deal with life and death, we have to step up. có người mẹ đang có con có bầu để mà cho con và cái đứa con của họ bảy tháng trong bụng của mẹ rồi đã sự sợ chết rồi người bác sĩ họ nói là phải mổ và lấy đứa con ra đi để vì sợ ảnh hưởng tới sức khỏe của mẹ khi mà cái chuyện đó nó xảy ra rồi thì người mẹ người cha tôi biết người cha là bạn của tôi nói rồi cũng sư tới vào trong phòng mổ để mà khi cái đứa con nó bác sĩ nó mang ra sự ra riêng bớt nó mang cái đứa con ra thì cái đứa bé nó nó khoảng có khoảng mười lăm phút rồi sau đó nó khỏi được thì cái mười lăm phút đó thì người mẹ người cha họ nói tôi rồi một sư cho phù hợp so I baptize the kid in the in the operating room I ask mom and dad to name the child get the support They named the little boys David, baptized him. Why I'm sharing you with this? Because it's a very sad story, and yet at that very moment, we discover what I mean as a holy moment. Let me tell you something. If just one thing happened, I would not be here today, and you would not be here today. You know that? Just one thing in your life happened. You might not make it here today, and I might not make it today. But we are here today, right? We are here today for this that this moment become holy. You know what I mean, that? So when you learn how to treat your interaction with one another, every conversation, every interaction is a holy moment. We can do that well. We got our heart. Protect your heart. Well, that to make that thing for me. Every moment you have with another human being is a holy moment. So the moment I had a little boy, right? He took it out of his mom, welcomed him to life, and said goodbye to him so that he can go back to his old creator. But that very moment became holy because. It was a privilege to have that moment. Yeah. And here's the thing: trong cuộc đời của mình, nhiều khi mình lấy vào cái tình cảm, cái 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 mối liên hệ giữa bạn bè với nhau, we take it for granted, right? So we fight and talk about things. It's actually does not build each other. It actually take each other, tear each other down. So my submission to you. Take the moment. Maybe you come holy because in that moment you know what love is. Your children and my children who suffer from things that we never have to suffer. One of the main things that I deal with young people today, in the majority of time of my counseling, they had to be, deal with mental illness. And seeing Facebook became popular, mental illness actually increases a great deal. Okay, this is actually a phenomenon 
that actually, for those who are doing the counseling, what you have to pay attention to. Your kids and my kids and their children who live in the world that you and I know nothing about. Con thai của mình, của cháu của mình, nó sẽ sống trong cái cuộc đời này mà mình không biết là đời sống của nó có phải những cái chuyện gì đã xảy ra trong cuộc đời. Chỉ có một chuyện chính mà mình thể cho nó. Không phải về những cái sự suy nghĩ về đời hoạt, không có sự hiểu biết về mình, về, về, về à, khoa học hay là, 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 là thương mại. Cái chuyện chính sẽ sống để hiểu biết. Love will never change, regardless of everything. Your children will change, right? But how we love your children stay the same. Stay the same. Your wife will change. Your husband will change. Sometimes for the better. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> I'm not telling the lies with my wife telling me that. Okay. And yet. To get into Jungnan High School was not easy because I'm, you, you remember the year that we got in, 3,300 wrote the exam, 326 of our got chosen. Okay, I remember that. The 3,300 wrote the entrance, the, the, the entrance exam. Only 10% got chosen for that year. And if you think seriously, right here. Yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some, some of you, right here, right? He have brother who just gang up on him and says, study. Okay. But they do not with a heart. Without heart, carry on. So the excellence of academic, just a manifestation, not 
the King Street. The excellent of men and women from our school actually go and make a great contribution in the world today. They still have to deal with us part. From women, it's a part of excellence and, and sacrifices of many cats. Right? It's a joke and to go to school. The year I wrote the exam, my father took me every day with him to work and he asked me to prepare for the exam diligently, right? And he would question me my math and my history and you know, all the things. And he did that for months in and months out in order for me to pass the exam. So, when we think about that excellence, and then we hope that we have perseverance, but you cannot persevere without a good heart. You know that? You cannot persevere. You cannot persevere in your marriage without a good heart. You cannot persevere in your own relationship with your kids without a good heart. You cannot persevere in your own work relationship without a good heart. You cannot persevere in your own relationship with your clients who every time call and complain about things without a good heart. So you go back to that condition. And that's why I say, protect your heart. Because I believe a man and woman with a good heart always can do greater things than they actually can think of themselves doing. And man and woman with a good heart. And I see that. I want to tell a story, so you know my life. In 2006, a single mom came to my office down in Little Town in Alberta named Leverage. I had my counseling in this manufacturing facility, so I come and show up. And this woman came to my office, and the first five minutes, every single swear word you can think of came out of her mouth. <laughs> so she just went at me. I had no idea what she was going for. She just went at it. I know that she was mad at her boyfriend at the time, but I had no idea why. And then she stopped. And I said, you done? She said, yeah. Second. I said, I'm so thankful that you actually acknowledge that I'm mobiling more. The only problem, that's not the language I speak. So I said, do me a favor, leave my office and come back in and try the language I may understand. So now, fast forward that conversation. She came to see me once, maybe two of when I came back to this facility. But one time she came in 2006, something prompted me. So I asked her, I said, Vivian, I need to ask you a question. If you have a dream job, what would that be? Without any hesitancy. I want to be a nurse. I said, that's a very good dream. What kind of nurse? To say, geriatrics. I like to take care of old people. And I said, that's a very good dream. Did you finish high school? No, hell no, she said. So now, for the four and four years, and you understand, she was 20, late in her late 20, and she had three boys from three different men. Okay? And none of the father actually allowed in the picture to take care of the for the boys. So see, she said, I, I said, what grade did you finish in high school? You quit high school, right? She said, yeah, I did. So what, what did you finish? She said, I don't know. So I said, do you have your student ID? She said, maybe, I can find it. Hopefully. She said, okay, go to find it. I can locate your transcript online for you. See, I can hardly finish grade 10, you know what I'm saying? So for about the following six years, she came to see me to be tutor, to finish her GED. The it. it's, a, it's a equivalent of the great fault to blow my Canada, okay? Last Christmas. I went to the hospital in that town. This is a father, a friend of mine who were dying. And I was about to leave. I heard my name, right? On the, the fourth floor of the house, and say, Wait! You have to see. That woman. She became an LPN. 
She flies her back to me and says, look. And in this summer, one of the three boys got accepted to engineering school in my city. So she phoned me up. She said, can you help me to find a place for, for, for my son to stay so he can go to school? I don't have a lot of money. I said, that's fine. They live with me. Let me look. I found that young man. A place to stay with an elderly lady that I know who I can need some young person to stay with her, right? Just for protection. The young man went for coffee with me after the first week of school this year. I'm talking about last week. You know what he told me? I'm very proud of my mom. And he said, You should. I say to him, and your mom, regardless what happened in her life, when it comes to you and your brother, she protect you with the best heart. That woman did nothing for herself. And I'm, you see, this is what I'm saying. Eh? The heart, when you protect it, it can help the person to overcome whatever the circumstances is. So I'm not sharing with you something that I actually haven't seen in her. Right? So this young man, you know, he's a little, he's a guy that grew up without father, right? Mom had three boys. And yet, he's the most respectful young man that I ever encountered. Right? And that's because of the heart of his mother. And I gave that her. She tried everything to protect him. So I, I, I said, why is that I'm talking? Because when you talk about kindness, it's the same. You cannot be kind without a good heart. You cannot be what? You cannot be forgiving without a good heart. Okay? You cannot be forbearing without a good heart. Any other questions? I start for you to do Q&A, everyone.